This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 15th of February. James Spann, cold is the word. Snow showers northwest of the state. Could we see a few snowflakes this evening? Maybe. Let's take a look at the uh, Skycam images this afternoon. Really a, a big contrast across the state. First off at Mount Chiha, they've still got snow on the ground up there, from uh, partly from the snow from last Friday and partly from the snow they had during the pre-dawn hours this morning. But at least they're in the sunshine. Uh, they're sitting at 31 up there. But up in Coleman, they're sitting at 29, and they are cloudy, and it's cold. They had a dusting of snow this morning. That's pretty much gone away, but uh, more snowflakes could fly later this evening. And from Tuscaloosa, they are at 36 because they've had sunshine this afternoon. Uh, we've got this deck of clouds over the northern third of the state, but south of that, temperatures have edged above the freezing mark. We're looking over toward Interstate 359. Here's the uh, water vapor satellite shot this afternoon. You can see that deep trough over the east, and uh, a lobe is wrapping around that uh, pocket of cold air aloft, and that's producing those instability snow showers back to the northwest, as you'll see. And there's our numbers. Look in the northwest. You've got upper 20s up there. Uh, those folks are not going to see 30 today, but down here, Birmingham's got 35 because the sun is shining. It's going to be cold tonight. We'll be down in the low 20s, but uh, later this week, we are promising warmer weather. Looky here. That's the uh, Columbus, Mississippi next rad, and that's the uh, activity with that next lobe coming around in Memphis. It, it, in some spots, have seen some pretty decent uh, snows with this, but understand this is more convective, like you see in a summer afternoon. Uh, I know that looks widespread on this clear air mode, but it's really not widespread what's hitting the ground. It, it's very much a, a scattered snow shower kind of deal. So uh, some of our, of our friends up in northwest Alabama might pick up a pretty decent so snow shower this afternoon. Looks like the better chance of those would be north and west of a line from Millport to Cullman to Fort Payne. Uh, there might be a few snowflakes in Birmingham. Don't think it amounts to much. More than likely it stays north of here. And there's our watch warning map, advisories all the way in terms of winter weather advisories from Memphis to Boston and uh, all of Tennessee under a winter weather advisory. Winter storm warnings up north for places like Cincinnati, where they had a pretty good snow this morning. Uh, some folks up there picked up over five inches. One of our radio affiliates is up there. So we pay attention to their weather pretty carefully. Hey, look at here, a QPF chart for the next five days. Valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. No precipitation. Doesn't that sound good? A chance to dry out, warm up, calm down. We could use that around here. Let's look at modeling. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run at noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars, about 18 to 20,000 feet off the ground. Uh, that uh, uh, lobe is rotating way northeast of us, and, but still, it's going to be cold. That's a cold look for the east, and uh, tomorrow, uh, a, a cool north breeze, a mix of sun and clouds, and probably upper 30s, low 40s. High close to 40 for most spots. Wednesday, still pretty cold. I mean, look at the 540 line way down there in the Gulf. I don't know, uh, low 40s at best. But Thursday, we start to moderate. The chance will be approaching 50 Thursday afternoon. That'll feel good. And Friday, maybe mid-50s. And that's getting close to where we should be. We should be in the upper 50s this time of the year. And we note the rain off to the west, and that could creep in here Friday night and Saturday. There's a look at the upper airflow for Saturday. This is at noon. It's a zonal flow, very fast across the southern states, but that's got the cold air shut down. You can see that uh, little uh, light rain showing up over mainly uh, central and southeast Alabama. So uh, this run kind of suggesting some hint of light rain maybe from midnight Friday night until noon Saturday. And it wouldn't be a big deal, just a little light rain. And then Sunday, we're dry. Uh, and again, highs would be in the 50s if this is right. No cold air involved. And then Monday of next week, the uh, next little impulse in that fast flow comes along and produces some light rain. So the modeling is somewhat consistent and a chance of light rain late Friday night and Saturday morning and then again Monday of next week. And we note that big storm out west, just west of uh, San Francisco. Three days later, here comes a Vortmax just to the west, and that looks pretty wet, and by golly, just north of here looks a little snowy, doesn't it? Or icy over Tennessee and parts of Kentucky. And at the end of the forecast on the 3rd of March, uh, again, uh, kind of a split flow, and a uh, big trough out in the southwestern states, and that looks awfully snowy for the Midwest. That, that split flow keeps the colder air up north. That would suggest just wet weather here, but the models have been all over the board, and you look at that and you think, I don't know, 
Sure, we'll have some moderation. The days are longer, the sun angle is better, but the Arctic Oscillation stays pretty strongly negative for the rest of this month. So uh, it looks like on average, temperatures should be a bit uh, below where they should be. And we'll be watching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here, by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.